Hello and welcome to the final tutorial about formulas and functions. To start off, I'd like to clean up my table a little bit. The billable hours column has a lot of white space, so I'd like to shrink that up. And of course, it's got to be text wrapped. The next thing I'd like to do is align all of this right in the middle. You can align it at the top, the bottom, but I think the middle looks professional. The next thing I'd like to do is insert a row above. Of course, you can hit the insert button there, but I'd like to put the name of the law firm here, but I want it to be kind of centered. In order to do that, to choose all of the cells and merge them together. Now, let's take a look at some of those formulas. Remember, all formulas start off with the equal sign. So type in equals, and then decide what you'd like to do. In this case, I'd like a new column of the salary per hour, so the, the dollars per hour. And so I choose the cell with the salaries in it, divided by, and the, the division symbol is a slash, the number of hours. And when you hit enter, it gives you the answer. So $80,000 divided by 350 is $229 per hour. When you go to copy that, so control C and paste it, control V in each row below, we get, so we're just control V all the way down and we get a relative formula dividing. The first one is E7 in this case, because it's the seventh row divided by C7. And then of course the title for this row would be cost per hour. And one way of copying that, uh, just the formatting from one set of cells to another is uh, to copy, so edit copy. And then when you go to paste it here, right click paste, instead of pasting uh, normally control V, we're gonna paste special and we're just gonna paste the format and it copies all the entire formatting, so same colors, borders, size of the font, everything gets copied over. And then uh, maybe here we'd like to merge those cells again. Now let's take a look at some functions. A very powerful function is one that adds up the numbers of many different cells. We could use a formula that would be equals a cell plus another one plus another one plus another one and so on but there's a function that does that for us which is called the sum function sum right we're looking for the sum of a number of numbers and then open bracket so equals sum and open bracket and this is actually where you're choosing from from one cell all the way to another so if you click and drag it will tell you which cells you're going from E3 all the way to E10, and there's a colon in between, okay? And a closed bracket, enter, will give you the answer. So this is the total, so let's write total beside it, the total salary, and I just like to put those together, maybe put a nice dark box around them, outer border only, to say that the total salary here is 5,699,000. The true power again is if you change something, so if you change just one number or more, it will automatically update it for you. And there are in fact many different form functions. Another powerful one is the average. And in fact, it's so common that spreadsheets will often auto-populate here. We want the average, so just typing average open bracket, from C3, it's the starting, right? That's cell C3 to, so that's the, the colon, C10 is the last one. And then a close bracket will give you the average. So we type, maybe put another box around them to show the average billable hours. Another way of finding some functions up here, the common ones, sum, average there's some you can explore like count max min and in fact there are hundreds of functions that uh, you can that allow you to use coding inside of a spreadsheet 